Welcome back to Word of the Day with Lance Conrad. Today's word is eldritch. Now before we start this one, I'd have to give a small warning. This story is a little bit more disturbing than some of our other ones. So discretion for young viewers is advised. Let me tell you a scary story. Eldritch means weird, sinister, or spooky. It comes from a Middle English word meaning fairyland. So this word usually has a supernatural connotation. For example, the author H.P. Lovecraft was known for his eldritch tales. However, nothing in fiction quite measures up to a true story that happened 60 years ago in a remote Russian pass. In February 1959, Igor Dyatlov led a group of world-class hikers and skiers on a trip to climb the summit of Mount Adorton. At the base of the pass leading to the mountain, one of their number fell sick, and they decided to leave him behind, promising to come back for him in about 10 days. Three days later, all nine were dead. Now, it's not unheard of for even experienced climbers to have accidents or to succumb to the elements. But this group died more eldritch deaths. When search and rescue found their camp, they discovered that their tent had been slashed open from the inside. Barefoot tracks in the snow led away from the camp. A mile away at the base of a cedar tree, they found the first two bodies. They seemed to have died of hypothermia, but further inspection showed the remains of an abandoned campfire, as well as skin and fingernails high up in the tree, indicating that someone had frantically climbed it. Three more were found where they froze trying to return to camp, but one of them showed defensive wounds as if he had fought off an armed attacker before succumbing to the elements. The remaining four had fled in the opposite direction, taking shelter in a small gorge. Strangely, they did not freeze to death like the others. They were found with injuries similar to those caused by high-speed car crashes. Investigators determined that they had been killed by an unknown compelling force, far more powerful than human attackers could cause. No other human or significant animal tracks were discovered. To top it all off, it was found that a few of the victims' clothing was radioactive. None of this has ever been fully explained. Some believe that they were attacked by aliens or Yeti, while others blame tiny tornadoes or secret Soviet weapons testing. Regardless, we will likely never know the explanation for these eldritch events. And if that wasn't eldritch enough for you, there's one more gruesome detail. One of the last bodies recovered was missing her eyes and tongue. Evidence suggests that she was still alive when the tongue was removed. Please take a moment to support us by sharing this video with your family and friends. If you enjoyed it, I'm sure they will too. We also have classroom versions of the videos and some related curriculum available for download at TeachersPayTeachers.com. Thank you so much.